it, it's a kind of checkup. The addresses that were given by the shell companies of uh, Purti Purti investors, hmm. though I, IT that had issued notices to Gadkari that explain where where from these funds have come and which are the shell companies and where from uh, companies have got funds. Hmm. So the addresses given by the shell companies are being cross-checked, and uh, during these searches, hmm. IT company will ascertain hmm. uh, whether these funds have come through a legitimate uh, channel of funding or. They are illegitimate, or some explanations uh, uh, are needed in those funding processes, or mm. not. So these raids are being conducted in continuation with the uh, notice, some some notice that has been issued to Mr. Gadkari, mm. uh, revised notice that was served on 11th of January, mm. and Gadkari has sought time to appear before the Income Tax Department till February 1st because mm. he has submitted that he is travelling outside mm. and he is busy in. Some major political uh, assignments, hmm. li like the one uh, he is facing tomorrow, that is re-election to the post of the president of uh, BJP. Hmm. So uh, during the searches, IT department will ascertain whether these addresses are genuine, whether these companies are genuine, hmm. whether the fundings that, that these companies have got from uh, from various sources are genuine, and whether hmm. or not Gadkari has channelized the funding through shell companies or not. So this is a very crucial kind of search uh, that, that will be conducted today at eight to nine uh, destinations in Mumbai, hmm. and uh, after these searches, the I, income tax department will question Mr. Gadkari when he appears before the income tax department, maybe on first of February. Right, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the bigger question, Ganesh, is going to be how is this going to affect uh, Gadkari's political career? Uh, because RSS has be always been uh, firmly backing up Nitin Gadkari to uh, to become uh, to have for uh, for a second tenure as the party president. But uh, how is this going to really affect Gadkari's uh, political career? That is something that is going to be uh, we have to really wait and watch, isn't it? Absolutely, this is very crucial question that you have raised. See, Nitin Gadkari is buying time for two reasons. Mm. One, he wants to get his re-election uh, confirmed and the process completed before he appears before the income tax department, mm. because then he can he can uh, delay the process by giving some excuses now and then. Mm. And once he he, he go, gets back into the uh, seat of BJP president for three years, mm. then uh, the then the process will go on. So he is buying time only to ensure that he is re-elected first and then he faces the inquiry. Because if he faces the inquiry before getting re-elected, hmm. chances are BJP will be embarrassed to a situation hmm. that it may not uh, re-elect him. But that is not likely to happen uh, it seems. Because he is getting re-elected tomorrow yeah. and he has already bought time till uh, February 1st. Hmm. And even if these searches are completed today, hmm. the income tax department will have to submit its official and detailed report to the uh, corporate affairs ministry in the in the in the centre, hmm. and that process might take time. Hmm. So politically, right now, Gadkari is ensuring that he gets re-elected first, and then faces the inquiry. Hmm. So the, he is playing pol politically safe. Right, and Ganesh, uh, have you able, uh, have you you been able to uh, get any reactions uh, from the BJP? Uh, because of course uh, there have been a lot of uh, speculations on uh, uh, on uh, so-called the infighting within the BJP as far as the post of uh, party president is concerned. Uh, they have, there were reports that Mr. L. K. Advani was. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, pushing for Sushma Swaraj's case uh, to be the party president, um, and RSS again firmly backing up Nitin Gadkari. Uh, uh, so, any any reactions uh, or uh, what are your sources telling you? Uh, what is uh, the uh, point now? The BJP is going to pick. See, RSS has uh, told, uh, said it very clearly to the BJP that they want Gadkari back in the seat, and therefore, what they have ensured is that constitutionally, if anybody has to contest election uh, tomorrow against Gadkari, he will have to get recommendation from as many as five state councils of BJP. It's a constitution of BJP which makes it mandatory. So, even if uh, there is a dissidence and a um, uh, person like the advocate Mahesh Jetmalani wants to uh, contest election, he will not be able to because unless RSS and top uh, BJP leaders ask their five state councils to recommend some other name, there, there won't be a candidate against Gadkari. So, RSS is firmly backing Gadkari 
and therefore senior bjp leaders who we are talking to are very very confident and sure that delhi's election is just a matter of time hmm. so tomorrow after filing of nominations there will be only one nomination uh, to the to the best of today's position uh, proposition analysis absolutely thank you so much aganesh for all those updates so searches are continuing uh, Uh, on uh, the Purti group, uh, of course, uh, there are uh, allegations uh, of tax evasion on the Purti group, uh, of course, uh, and uh, uh, Nitin Gadkari's uh, name has also been uh, uh, put into it as an alleged to be. He's also alleged to be uh, in that uh, particular allegations. Of course, uh, this is one story that we'll keep tracking. Uh, but uh, let's uh, go back to the big story that we are tracking throughout the day. That is uh, Chautala's. Uh, being uh, sent to 10 years in uh, jail for all that uh, let's go uh, to my colleague uh, afrida thank you ashwarya in fact uh, like ashwarya just pointed out the sentencing has been pronounced and the quantum of punishment has been announced as 10 years it's indeed a big blow to one of the most powerful political dynasty in haryana former haryana chief minister om prakash chautala and his son have been sentenced to 10 years in prison in the jbt teacher scam ahead of the sentencing as well as after the sentence his supporters literally went on a rampage throwing crude bombs and stones leading to police lathi charging and tear gassing the mob apart from the chotalas the other three main accused were also awarded 10 years in jail in this case rest of the 49 accused received jail terms between 3 to 5 years पहले तो मैं कोर्ट के फैसले का स्वागत करूंगा इससे न्यायपालिका के ऊपर लोगों का विश्वास बढ़ा है और इसका इम्पैक्ट पूरे देश की राजनीति पर पड़ेगा कि इतने बड़े राजनीतिक घराने को अगर सजा दस दस साल की हो सकती है तो एक छोटा नेता या एक अफसर भ्रष्टाचार करने से पहले बहुत बार सोचेगा तो मैं समझता हूँ शायद चौटाला साहब पहले ऐसे नेता है जो करप्शन के केस के अंदर सजा हुई हो इट्स आई थिंक वन ऑफ दी फर्स्ट फ्यू केसेस वेर इट former chief minister has been given such a heavy punishment in a corruption case be a lesson to the politicians and to bureaucrats and they must learn to work within the framework of law and maintain probity while discharging their public duties All right to talk more about this entire issue I have in the studio Sunita Godara who was a member of the India member of uh, uh, team Anna and she was also an Asian marathon champion earlier uh, welcome to news ex Sunita I would like to begin by asking you I mean this is a watershed moment in Haryana politics isn't it I mean look at what has happened today one of the leading newspapers has called it rise fall rise and downfall of the Chautalas your thoughts on that see uh, uh, whatever has happened uh, now 10 years jail that is perfectly all right but now they will appeal in high court and supreme court and the cases will take 10 years because uh, uh, th there there are no fast track courts so these vvips they any defaulter uh, no matter whether, whether uh, these two or uh, any other all vvips defaulters should go into fast track court so that the decisions are taken uh, uh, in a better manner and they are not prolonged otherwise uh, this case will take uh, and all rich and powerful uh, uh, influential people right. never go jail uh, go to jail they always get bail so this right. is going to happen in this case also so fast uh, fast track courts are the answer for these vvip defaulters right so what you're saying essentially is that it is in a sense a vindication of the anti corruption movement in this country all this while 
there was this public perception that the, the, the high and the mighty, the tall politicians in this country almost beyond the reaches of law. But here we have a conviction. Do you think in that sense it's also a very significant moment? See, this uh, is very in, significant right. because now 24-7 uh, media is there. So now, uh, now things have started. Uh, the uh, corrupt VVIPs, especially the big, uh, big fishes, they are scared. And uh, uh, what, what has happened in this case, they are the small fries because uh, there are two types of looters. One, those who are looting the individuals and the other one who are making big deals and making big money out right. of corruption. So right. fast track courts is, uh, is, are the answer for these type of cases. Right. This is only one of the several scams that we have seen, Suni. Yeah. Let's not forget. There are many I big... Mean, uh, yes. Uh, and see, uh, in Hindi we say Chindi Chor and Maha Chor. So this, uh, these are all small fries and uh, there are big fries. Right. And, the, and then the charges against him are not just this one particular JBT case, the disproportionate assets case against the Chautalas as well and we have the Mayavatis of this world, we have uh, uh, so many All other the rulers. leaders of this world, right, uh, including uh, the present uh, Chief Minister of uh, Uttar Pradesh, the Yadavs also implicated in uh, this proportionate assets case. But in this particular case, the JBT is, is the scam in question where for which this uh, kind of a conviction has happened. But do you think the larger issues, the larger uh, corruption yes. cases still remain uh, I do without agree. reaching its logical conclusion? I do agree with you. Because this is only one case. There are so many, uh, 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 bigger the scheme, bigger the scam going on and the rulers, they are busy looting the uh, looting public and the public uh, money plus the public asset, Nestle as, uh, assets uh, for their personal gains. Right. So these cases, whether they are political allegations or they are real allegations, they have to go into uh, fast uh, fast track courts otherwise these things will happen and then they will appeal uh, in high court supreme court they will get bail they will never go jail so uh, this is not the solution but solution today, is fast but court today we track. should at least celebrate this moment the political legacy of somebody like the chautalas have literally come to an end because you know we we know that there is uh, this rule that they cannot now contest elections which itself is is such a huge thing wouldn't you think that at least that part we need to acknowledge and say, well, in some sense, at least in this country, we do get justice. See, only in one case, but in, Dennis, uh, in, uh, in these dynasty leaders, there is no justice and equity. Uh, all the Baba Logs, they get everything on the, uh, uh, you know, platter. And they are not real heroes and real public leaders. So they have to perform what country needs out of them. You know, right. we want good governance. We want good implementation of laws and they are the people who are making laws, they are the people who are making, uh, uh, doing the implementation and when their corruption is the main thing for them, looting is the main thing. So right. whenever uh, uh, these people are caught, naturally public will be happy but not only for one case. It has to be done for all VIP right, cases. Right. Let, let's consider this as a good beginning. Then, Sunita, stay with us. Our correspondent Vishal Monga, in fact, spoke to Randeep uh, Surjewala, Parliamentary Affairs Minister in the Haryana Cabinet. Let's listen in. We have Randeep Surjewala with us. Sir, first of all, the reaction. What is the Congress reaction? I think Congress reaction is, uh, is that of an ordinary Indian. And that is that the law has taken its own course. Judiciary, uh, faith in judiciary stands re-strengthened and it also proves for the entire political and administrative class that however high you may be, the law is above you. If you trample upon your constitutional oath, if you indulge in corruption and nepotism, if you make government employment a political akhada, then you would be punished. That is what has happened. The quantum is 10 years. Now, it was said that after 3 years, if the quantum is more than 3 years, they will not be able to fight. Do you think it will really benefit the Congress now? Congress does not look at this verdict from the point of benefit or otherwise. To me, as an Indian and as a Congressman, the verdict is very simple. Uh, it proves that those in public offices need to be very, very careful in their actions. They need to persistently and perpetually think about the last man in the line and all their policies and actions should be directed towards him. The moment we digress, then sooner or later the law will catch up with you, which has happened to Shri Prakash. So what about the violence that has took place outside Rohini court? Do you think that this could be repeated here in Haryana also? I am very sad as an Indian and as a young person with the violence that took place in Rohini. 
courts are not political akhada mm-hmm. you cannot bring thousands of workers there and browbeat the judge or the judiciary or the or subvert the entire judicial process uh, the way we were watching images on tv the kind of rampant hooliganism gundaism slogan shouting it's unheard of it proves that inld does not have faith in judiciary and the constitution exactly what they have been punished for do you think this is end of chotala 